Welcome to the next chapter presented by Wellcare, where we talk to former Panthers players about life after playing football. And I am honored to be joined by former Panther and current head coach of Campbell Football, Mike Minter. Mike, coach, it is good to see you. I appreciate you doing this. I know how busy you are with your season right now, but it is so great to see you and to talk to you. Yeah, thanks for having me. So I, I would love to start with, as I typically do with this series, about the decision to retire from football. Everyone has such a different story. When did you know it was the right time for you? Well, it was uh, training camp and it was 2007. And, you know, the body was feeling different. Uh, the knees was feeling different. And I <laughs> knew what you had to do to prepare yourself for a football season um, and all the things that go with that. And, and I just felt like at that time, you know what? Um, I'm not willing to go through all that right now. <laughs> and I and I think um, at that time, you know, I listened to my spirit. And, mm -hmm. and I listened to and and it was just in my spirit. It was time to it was time to move on. And I knew it. I didn't want to, but yeah. but I knew it was time to go. And, and I'm not going to wait um, on decision making. I'm, I'm going to make the decision and and, um, and move forward. And that's what I did. When did you know that you wanted to coach? It was probably five years after retirement. Um, a friend of mine asked me to come help his high school team out, right? He was the athletic director. He wanted me to get with his coaching staff and kind of talk to them about football and all I bet that. he did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, um, and so the, the head coach, he retired. And so they didn't have a coach. And he was like, Mike, what you doing, right? This is July, okay, mind you. And I know <laughs> nothing about high school football, right? I'm so <laughs> far removed from that. And and so I said, okay, I'll do it, right? So I had to recruit all the players to stay, <laughs> to come out and play. And that experience of, um, you know, going to three state championships um, in a row and winning two of them, let me know that, okay, I, let me try this at the at the college level. And and you worked your your way up, you know, talking about the, those high school teams and then yeah, assistant coach, special teams at various places. What did you learn in those years, starting with starting in July and having to recruit <laughs> all the players and the assistant coaches? What were some of the hard lessons that you learned that you take with you now? Well, I think high school was different because I was the only voice. You know, everybody, even the assistant coaches again which was parents they all listened and I was the only one speaking and uh, so when I got to college it was different as an assistant it was easy okay I got you know a position and I got special teams and I knew I wanted to be the special teams coordinator because the special teams coordinator got to talk to everybody and, um, and so I did that for two years and then I became the head coach at Campbell um, in two years and, and then it became different because now I'm the CEO mm -hmm. and I'm I'm working through other people to get the information to the players. All these things I had to learn. And then I had to learn what type of men I needed around me mm. as my football coach. Right. So that was the that's that's the other thing that I had to learn. And I, I've learned that over the, the nine years I've been doing this. Were you someone when you played? whether it was in college or or professionally, that guys would have said, oh, I think he's going to be a coach one day? Well, I, I think people would have said that, right? <laughs> because, you know, I was always the captain of all yep. the teams that I've ever played on. And so one of the leaders of, of, of the team has always been there. So I'm, I'm assuming that people would, would have said that um, in the sense of, but I don't think that they would have thought that I wanted to put in the time the effort into being a coach, right? I mean, that, that's a that's a big time commitment. But they would have said, "Yeah, he he knows the game. He, he loves the league. Um, I can see him being a coach one day." Well, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate how candid you've been and hearing about your journey. Um, and you know, we and and everyone with the Panthers are are so happy for your success at Campbell and and the fact that we still get a chance to, to check in with you. So thank you so much, Mike, for the time. And like I said, in the midst of, of your busy <laughs> schedule that you would take these few minutes to, to talk me through all of this. Thank you so much. Oh, absolutely. You guys have a great one.